Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is gonna be a how they feel about you love reading. We're gonna be looking at their thoughts, feelings towards you, their true intentions, what you need to know about them. Um, so we're gonna jump right in, but keep in mind that this is a general love reading. It will not resonate with every Aries watching, so just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation and leave the rest. You can always check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. It'll be linked in the description box, um, all of the playlists for each sign. So let's jump right in. For Aries. Spirit, for Aries, regarding the person they are connecting with or thinking about at this time, what are they thinking or feeling about Aries? What is this person thinking or feeling about Aries. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? Okay, we have strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decision, decisions or actions, okay? So there could be a family involved here. Maybe you have children with this person or there's a strong bond between you. Maybe this person is thinking about this strong bond when they make certain decisions. What else? Okay, so let's see. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? I stay up at night thinking of you. Okay, so this person's thinking about you, Aries. Um... You keep them awake, apparently. So I'm picturing someone that is constantly thinking about you. Okay, so let's see. What else? What else can you tell us? For Aries, what are they thinking, feeling towards Aries? What are their energies towards Aries at this time, Spirit? What are their energies? towards Aries. What are their energies towards Aries? I am afraid. Okay, so this person could be um, dealing with some sort of fear, anxiety. Um, this could be just within, you know, whatever they have going on right now. Maybe they're afraid to approach you, afraid to communicate as well. So let's jump right into the tarot and get some more insight here. Can we get some more insight, Spirit? For Aries on what this person's energy is at this time towards Aries. What are their energies, thoughts, feelings? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Okay, Aries, let's see what we have for you. Okay, what they're currently thinking, feeling about you. We have the Six of Wands reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. So something was not successful. Um, something didn't work out between you. Uh, maybe this person hurt you, broke your heart, or they're feeling heartbroken. Okay, what what do you need to know about this person, this situation? Not, uh, Ten of Cups reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. So they lost something is what I'm getting. There could have been a th another person involved because I have two different queens here. It could be that they messed up and lost something that made them happy. Um, typically when I get Ten of Cups reverse, it's a card about deep unhappiness. Um, someone that's just not, not fulfilled emotionally. But I get here, it, it was something that they already had and they no longer have. That's the message that I'm getting. All right, so what are their intentions, next actions? Four of Swords, Reverse. I'm not sure why I'm getting all reversals. I'm okay, I'm getting all reversals. Um, four of Swords, Reverse. Four of Coin, Reverse. So I feel like this person, these two cards together especially, are someone opening up. Someone no longer holding back. Someone no longer being quiet. Or um, they're, they're opening up in a way. Letting things go. Maybe that's why they're afraid. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Interesting. This is a departure. Someone walking away from something, headed somewhere else. Okay, so let's see what insight we can get here 
Spirit, can we get some clarity, please, for Aries? What insight clarity can we get here for Aries? Okay, let's start with what happened here. This is what they're currently thinking or feeling. Six of Wands reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. Can I get some insight into these energies? Six of Wands reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. What happened here? Five of Pentacles, exactly. There was a loss here. Your person is struggling in some way. Maybe they're missing you. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. Ten of Wands. Look at this energy. Yeah. Yeah, this is someone that's not doing well. Yep, and they're stuck too. They're stuck in this energy. I feel like this is someone who is um, carrying some sort of burden here with the Ten of Wands. Um, and it's it's because of what's happened between you. I don't know. You know, it's going to be different for all of you. But something here happened to I uh, shut this person out or keep this person from you in a way. I'm, I'm sensing a lot of distance, like emotional distance, perhaps. Um, and I feel like that's why this person is thinking about you so much. Um, I feel it's because you're not there. You're not accessible. I feel like this is like an emotional baggage or something that emotionally your person's carrying here. Um, they're not doing well, basically. They're, this person is not doing well with the way things have ended between you or with the way things are currently with with you and them. Between you and them. <laughs> I can't talk for a second. I just forgot English. Okay. So can I get some insight though into this two of swords? Why is why the two of swords? Just curious. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So um, what I'm getting here, temperance is usually a card about taking your time, uh, working with two very different things, blending two very th different things, having harmony and balance because you're taking your time. Um, so I feel like this is about a resolution and then I have the world at the bottom of the deck. So that makes sense to me. It's almost like this person feels like they are a bit, you know what I'm getting? Hands are tied. Their hands are tied when it comes to bringing balance back. Maybe it's a timing thing or maybe it's just the cycle hasn't, a cycle hasn't closed so then a new one can't begin, something like that. Um, I feel like this is eventually like their goal though with the, the, the world and the nine of cups here but with the two of swords and their temperance card i'm getting that this person feels their hands are tied okay so let's see this isn't let's move on to what you need to know what you should know here we have the ten of cups reverse and the queen of wands reverse the queen of wands reverse tends to be someone that is very they they crave attention they hog attention they also tend to make mistakes because they don't really think about the consequences of their actions they just want what they want um the queen of wands reverse is also someone that tends to have a temper is unhappy so let's see what this is about tell me about the ten of cups reverse and the queen of wands reverse what happened here spirit four of swords Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse. What is this energy here? Six of Swords. Okay. What I'm getting is like someone, you know, the first message I got is that someone stopped, paused, something stopped. Uh, and it was because of a departure. So it's almost like someone could have even stopped communicating here and left or cut communication, or blocked someone, or just moved on, you know? Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse? Why is the Ten of Cups reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse? Yeah, the High Priestess. So the, the things went quiet here. Someone stopped communicating, stopped speaking. There could have been even a secret. I feel like this Six of Swords is important because we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here with the departure, with distance. Um, let's 
Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Ace of Wands. So this is someone leaving towards something new. Yeah, waiting. Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, waiting for an opportunity, waiting before they move somewhere or taking their time getting somewhere. Maybe there are delays or there, there's just things that kind of are keeping someone waiting before they can deliver this offer. Whatever this is, I feel like it's it's almost impossible with the Four of Swords and the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? This is usually a card about something secret, something unknown. Okay, there's a Ten of Swords that wants to show itself to me. Okay, tell me more about the High Priestess. So I feel like this possibly led to some sort of ending. A secret, something that wasn't said, something that was kept buried or just, yeah. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that there was something that was not communicated. Yeah, and here is again the Eight of Cups. So I feel like this is a situation where maybe, um, I don't know, I do see it both ways. I feel like there was something here with communication. Um because the four of swords is here the high priestess is here so instantly i picture someone clamming shut or something being hidden uh unsaid unspoken and i have the four of swords reverse under i'm afraid so i'm making that connection that someone needs to open up because they haven't then i have here the queen of swords so what i'm getting here is like almost someone wants to either talk about a departure that i feel already happened because I have a Ten of Swords, so I feel like something has already ended. And it's like someone wants to have a new beginning here. Now the King of Pentacles showed up, and for me, typically the King of Pentacles happens to already be in a commitment. Um, they typically are providers um, or are married, you know? So I don't know if this person kept that from you, or I don't know if they are married, and this is kind of something they shouldn't really be thinking about. Because, you know, I get the sense that what you need to know is that there was either a mistake that was made, someone made made a, a mistake in the past, and I feel it's your person because they're dealing with, you know, feeling left out and missing you and all that. Um, and if that was the case, then I feel like this is somebody who is still thinking about that mistake and wishes they could make a move, but they can't. Their hands are tied. I also am seeing this as, you know, maybe this person made a mistake and you don't want anything to do with them. So you shut off yourself and cut off communication. Okay, so what are their true intentions and next actions? I have the Four of Swords Reverse and the Four of Coin. Can I get some insight into the Four of Swords Reverse and the Four of Coin? Yep, Judgment and the Knight of Cups. So this is your person, I feel... Um, opening up, maybe offering an apology of some sort, asking for a second chance with judgment. Um, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. So that was at the bottom of the deck. There's the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is somebody that's working up the nerve, I feel, to tell you how they feel. Um, I feel like this is someone unburdening themselves. And I think, I don't know if Aries, you had a reading like this recently, but this is someone that hasn't told you something important or is opening, is afraid to open up to you. They're afraid to tell you this. And with the Knight of, of Cups, this could be like a genuine um, expression of how they feel, an apology. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Yeah, this is something they've held back. The Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and then I have here the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they're scared of you, <laughs> in a sense. Scared to confront you or face you, um, because maybe you're very tough here, Aries, with this Queen of Swords. Or perhaps this is just something that they would have to be very open and vulnerable about. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that this reading resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing. I'd love to have you and that way you can keep up with any videos that I post. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.